Hello everyone. Welcome to the first lesson in our series of lessons on closed corporations. The objectives of the series are to explain the nature of closed corporations, to define the terms closed corporation, members contribution and retain profit, to explain the features of a closed corporation and to prepare simple accounts of closed corporations. The topic of today's lesson is the nature of closed corporations. After watching this video, you should be able to explain the meaning of the terms closed corporation, members contribution, retained profit, and to explain the features of a closed corporation. It went quite okay, don't you think? She didn't even greet me. Oh, what a mess I've got myself into now. Okay, listen, let's just go, yeah? We will work something out. You don't understand. I'm actually practically broke. All the money I have to pay you for your legal fees, the money I have to pay you for all the damages, all my savings are gone. And I so wanted to expand my soul. Sarah, please. I said we will work something out, okay? Now, I have got an idea that might just be the solution to your problem. Let's go to my office, we can sit down, have a coffee and talk about it. I really need a quick solution to all my problems, so let's go. All right.
morning, dear. Esther, will you hold all my cards, please? Uh, let's go through to my office. Thank you. What is the solution that you're talking about? Well, uh, I think we did very well this morning, don't you think? I mean, even though you have uh, still got to pay Paul a whole lot of money for our damages, uh, I think uh, this gives us the opportunity to, to think a little bit or uh, just find a long-term solution for your business. Have you ever heard of a close cooperation before or a CC? What is that? What are you talking about? Close cooperation, CC, what is that? Well, uh, you are the sole owner of your business, right? Yes. Well, in that case, we refer to you as a sole trader. A close corporation, on the other hand, abbreviated is a CC, and uh, it is another form of uh, business ownership. Okay. So, how will this close corporation solve my problems? <laughs> now, let's see. We have been at the court for three days, and uh, in that time, you had to close your salon. Yes. Yeah, I can understand the reason why you're so upset. I had to cancel all my appointments. And you can just imagine the insults and the bad publicity on me being the top hairstylist in the country. That's true. And uh, you also mentioned earlier that you had uh, plans to expand your business. Yeah. And now all my dreams and my plans are all down the drain because a client demanded a new product being tested. Well, uh, Sarah, I think you should change your business from a sole trader to a close corporation because this will not only enable you to expand your business, it also has got a whole lot of advantages to it. Really? Yeah. What do you mean? Well, uh, you'll never have to go through a court procedure ever again. You see, uh, a close corporation is a legal entity. Yeah, that means it can sue or be sued in its own name. You see, your name will never have to appear on any court list again. Uh, your legal representative, me, will represent your company in court. Wow, that sounds wonderful. So tell me, what other advantages can I gain from this close corporation? Well, currently you are the only contributor of capital into your company and you take care of uh, all responsibilities of running the, the business, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, forming a CC enables you to attract more capital and also skills because, you see, uh, you can now invite others to, to invest in your business. Okay. Oh, by the way, how many owners will there be? Because I don't like too many bosses. Sir, in the case of a CC, we talk about members, not owners. You can be the only member, yeah? Uh, and the maximum members allowed is 10. Okay. That means that the number of members will depend on my needs. And uh, the maximum should not exceed 10. That's right, Sarah. Is there a lot of paperwork involved in forming this CC? No, no, not at all. I mean, forming a CC is a very easy and inexpensive process. So what do I need to do to change my business from a sole trader to a close corporation? Hmm. Well, setting up a close corporation does not uh, require a lot. Let's see. You have to compile the... Uh, accounting statement and uh, you include all your statutory information and then you submit it to the registrar of closed corporations. Founding statement and what is the statutory information that you're talking about? You know I never had to go through all these problems when I set up my sole trader. <laughs> Look at this. Um, See, this is a founding statement mm -hmm. uh, that I had to compile for another client. Now, this founding statement includes all the statutory information of members 
and uh, the contribution of members. Oh, I see. Hmm. So, will you help me draw up a founding statement? Yes, I will. Well, okay. Let's say I decide to change to a closed corporation hmm. and invite other people to come become members. How is it going to work with regard to um, sharing of profits, responsibilities, etc., etc.? Let's see. Uh, firstly, um, all members of the CC uh, can be involved in the running, but uh, that means the daily running of the business. But management and decision making is only done by uh, the management elected by the members. You get it? Mm -hmm. Does this mean that although I invite other people to become members, I will still be responsible to get the manage to get the management running? Only when the members elect you to be part of the management. You see. Mm. Now, members also have a limited liability. You see. Uh, meaning, members are only responsible for the uh, debts of the business according to their capital contributions. You will therefore not lose all your personal possessions just because the business cannot pay its debts. Now, like I told you earlier before, uh, a close corporation is a legal entity. And that means that it can sue or be sued in its own name. Well, in this case, um, that is exactly what can happen. That's really safe for the members, but what about the profits? <laughs> Obviously, members will share the profits, but I can tell you this. Um, no members have got automatic claim to the net profit of a CC. Mm -mm. Um, <laughs> Profits can only be distributed to members after the CC has met uh, all its financial obligations yeah, during uh, the financial period. Hmm. Hmm. That sounds very logical. And are you sure that I can change my business to a closed corporation with me being the only member? <laughs> Correct. You see, uh, a CC may have one to ten members only. And... Um, you see, Sarah, changing to a closed corporation will not only enable you to continue with your expansion plans. No, uh, it will also help to protect your name. Thank you, Mr. Stone. You know, changing my business from a sole trader to a closed corporation might just be my only solution. But let me go think about it and then I'll get back to you. You do just that and uh, yes, it will be my pleasure to help you again. What do you think Sarah should do? To help you answer this question, let's summarize what we have learned in this lesson. Close Corporation or CC is a form of business ownership. A CC can have one to ten members. When setting up a close corporation, you have to compile and submit a founding statement to the register of closed corporations. The features of closed corporations are Members can be involved in daily operations. Management and decisions are only done by management. Limited liability. Members are only responsible for debts of the business according to their capital contributions because a CC has legal entity. Profits can only be distributed to members after the CC has met all the financial obligations for the particular financial period. And this brings us to the end of lesson one. In our next lesson, we will look at how to prepare simple accounts of closed corporations. Please make sure that you watch our next lesson. Goodbye.